and it, straight to video. And uh, one of the funny things was later on, the guy who actually made the movie uh, ended up stabbing his wife and his mother to death. So talk about... Uh, oh, like, I remember hearing about that, actually. Uh, I was actually in that movie. I never actually saw the movie, but I, I told I was pretty good. But uh, one thing, <laughs> and, and I know how hard it is to actually film th- these movies. I mean, it takes a lot. Babe, if you don't know, it, it takes a ton of work, a ton of stress. Um, one thing that I always, that, that when I was on set and I, I thought was hysterical, was you have no control of the environment around you because, you know, you're not a big budget film. Uh, we had one time where we were filming a scene at night and we just had a couple bums wander into the film set. And the, the guy just said, keep rolling and put them in. Did you experience anything like that or did you have anything uh, we where actually, you had problems we, with the film or just any stories of, of of stuff like that on the set? Well, I mean, our first day that we shot, we shot um, – it was a scene where I, I wake up in a bathtub and a little girl approaches me. It's in her house. And it was uh, the, the co-director, Matt, his his daughter – and she had known her lines, known her lines, known her lines. And then, you know, when all of a sudden when I come in and I'm in clown paint and, you know, I'm in your tub and there's a lot of lights and camera around, you know, if you watch the, the outtakes, you know, she goes, it, she she did a great job. I was so happy. And we had so much fun. But it did take a, a long time for the first the first day. The second day, there's a scene where I have to eat like a small eight-inch round cake. And originally when we shot it, there was a problem with the makeup, and we didn't know it until afterwards. So I ate the cake, we do the whole spot, then we have to go back and redo it, so I have to re-eat the cake. And when you only have one cake, when they cut, uh, you you know, the cake is falling out of my mouth, I would just take and scoop it back up and eat it again. Uh, (laughs) It was pretty, pretty gross. But then we had one shoot where we were outside, and we had um, some kids wander on, you know, or one guy come up and he's like, hey, what's going on? I was like, well, we were filming, but now we're going to cut. So, I mean, it happens. You know, when you are a small budget, like you said, you're you're just trying to – it's like guerrilla filmmaking. You're trying to get in and get out as fast as you can. Um, we were lucky where all of our surrounding – the surrounding area, we, we, had, we shot mostly at two houses. The two houses were like a block apart. And then we were out back of one house. Uh, and under a bridge for another scene, which was right down the street. So we were we were lucky not to have to travel real far. The, the birthday cake eating scene was in Jersey um, that we had to shoot. We had to shoot that twice. But, I mean, I think that the only problems that we had, uh, if I, had to, I really didn't have too many problems besides weather. Um, every time that we had to shoot anything outside, it always seemed like it wanted to rain. You know, and we, we, we'd have to wait for it. And, you know, if you are on set, the, the biggest thing that they're always going to tell you is hurry up and wait. So you get there, you hurry up, and then you wait. I mean, you would wait for hours. Um, we actually had a pretty good grasp on time where we didn't – nothing really, like, lasted a long time. Like, we would set up the lights, we would go. We would set up the lights and go. We would set up the lights and go. So it never seemed – it never took a ton of time. Uh, the only time that took – I would say that probably had the most prep was the end of the movie because there was stuff that we had to prepare for. We had special effects we had to do. Um, and the weather outside was awful. We had and we shot during the day, but we were trying to make it look like night, so we had to, to, to blacken out the windows. Um, you know, and you just have people are hungry. You know, it's been a long day already, and we have a longer time to go. So, it, 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 I mean, something like that is kind of par for the course, to be honest. Um, so, I, I mean, we, I guess we are... I, I, mean, I guess we were fortunate. I guess was the best way to explain it. Here's here's a question for you, Rob. Yeah. Uh, in one scene in the movie, it's uh, a scene between you and your wife. Yeah. Was that awkward being in front of the camera? Um, I mean, like the makeout scene that's like on the yes. trailer. Yes. Um, I don't think it was awkward. I will say that it's not it's not uh it's not sexy at all. It's you know you're you're in. The bathroom was real small, so we were in a small bathroom. Some of the scene they shot through the window because you couldn't even get in the bathroom because it was so small. <laughs> um, and, I mean, like, I was struggling with, like, you know, she has hot pants on, and she has, like, these underwear over them, and I'm supposed to pull them down, and it's it's impossible. I mean, and I kept saying, like, you know, guys, I, I swear to God, like, I've done this before. And uh, <laughs> it, it just – it's not it's not a 
not a hot scene. It wasn't awkward. It just is, I mean, I guess it's just business. You know, you're just, you're going through the motions, you're getting it done and moving on to the next scene. And there's one scene that actually didn't make the movie that actually, um, you know, the, the, the premise of the film is you're following this guy. His name's Ed. He was a party clown. And, his, you know, he lost his TV show. And, uh, you know, his, his girlfriend, Trixie, is she's out and she's doing basically, you know, God knows what with guys. And she, um, she overdoses. And when, she, when we filmed that, um, it looked horrific. I'm not even kidding. Like, it didn't make the movie, but it looked, it was violent. And, uh, you know, you, you, like, if, for those that don't know, like, if you're trying to, like, make it look like someone's, like, kind of convulsing and, and drooling a lot, you would give them Alka-Seltzer. And um, she had had makeup on and she had contacts in. And I, it, it, it killed me, like, personally. I was like, oh, my God. Like, I felt, I was really emotional about it. And then when we have the next scene where I find her, I literally cried. I mean, I was just, that was me acting. But at the same time, I was just, I was just like, it was an emotional release. It was, uh, it was a crazy day, man, that day. Well, no clowning around, available now. Rob, like I said, you should really be really proud of yourself. Um, now, for these uh, film festivals, when they show that, are you going to be there as well? For some, I will. For New York next week, I, I'll be there. Uh, Monster Mania, I'll be there. There's going to be one in Jersey. Um, a majority of the film festivals that we will attend will not be until, like, September, October. I've actually – I have three projects right now that I'm actually working on, three different uh, three different scripts. I'd like to have one other short film done by, actually, October. So, um, you know, I don't know if – I mean – a lot of people have asked me about a feature film, and those that, that do know, a feature film takes, I mean, you're like looking at a month, you know. And, right. and if you are an independent filmmaker, you're doing it on the weekends, and then you have to get people to give up their weekends for like two months. Um, I don't think I'm really ready for a feature just yet. I, I, I'd much rather would, would try and get my feet wet with another two shorts or so, um, just to where I can kind of, um, I guess – toy with things and, and, you know, try different, uh, like this film has a very grindhouse, gritty feel. Um, I'd like to try something that's more artistic. So, I mean, there's a little bit of everything that's on the plate. You know, I'm, I'm just trying to um, try as much stuff as I can, I guess, is the best way to explain it. The, the one thing I was thinking, too, when I saw this was, I, and I know you had said before, um, like you just said about doing a, a full-length uh, film, I mean, yeah. you have a, a good basis here to where you could do, like, you know, the prequel, the leads up to the downfall, and then the, you know, you know what I mean, where you can get the full feature film of No uh-huh. Clowning Around. Is that an idea in your head at all, or? Um, it, it is an idea, and I do have a lot of stuff written. Um, I don't think, you know what, it's really, uh, when you write a movie, I don't know if it's because of being in pro wrestling for so long, but... I kind of want that screw finish. I want people to be mad. Um, in this movie, it wasn't so much that, but if I did a feature, I think that that's what would happen. Where I don't, I think people would think they were happy, but then when they saw the final product, that I think they'd be a little angry at the finish. And I kind of, I, like for me personally, I don't feel that that uh, the Mumbles character is a character that should live. So, right. you know, I, I mean, he's miserable. He hates his life. Um, he's delusional. So, I, you know, it's not something that I would be looking to, to cash in on and say, well, you know, if we do a feature, you know, I want to be able to create a bunch of sequels. It would be one and done. I mean, honestly, like, unless, I mean, who knows what happens, but I don't think that's, I don't think that's in 2013. You know, if that was to happen, that would take a lot of planning, and that would be maybe 2014 if that was realistically. I mean, if, even the short took us, you know, eight months to finish, you know, between right. getting music together and, you know, we had had the tragedy of Sandy, and our one of our music guys lost power for like four weeks or five weeks. Um, you know, so there was a lot of stuff that that went into it. We had pushed back filming because the summer was so hot that in clown paint the paint would run. So <laughs> there was there was a lot of uh, I mean a lot of difficulty to try and get stuff lined up the right way. And I had made a promise to all of the people that invested in the film, it'll be out by the 